Hey everyone, this is Tony, this is Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hide the version of your web server for both Apache and Nginx. And let's just first talk about why you'd wanna do this. And, and the main reason is because, um, especially for older versions of web servers, there are known vulnerabilities, which, you know, bad-minded hackers would attack. Like that that's a, if they know that you're running a certain version of a web server that has a vulnerability that's known and can be exploited, then this is like, you know, an open door for them almost because there is a way in for them. So, and and I don't wanna scare you, but just, just know that that exists in the software world when you're working with websites that's online and accessible to the public. So let's go ahead and learn how to hide your web server's version so nobody can see that information. Let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. And what I do have here is two websites running, one Apache website at this IP address ending in 230, and uh, an Nginx website looks really similar, ending in an IP address um, .35. So what I'm gonna do is open up um, Chrome DevTools here. I'm using Chrome, Google Chrome as my web browser for each one of these. And if you don't know how to do this, you can go to View Developer, Developer Tools. And then I'm just gonna refresh the page for each one of these and look at the response header right now. Um, under the network tab, looking at the headers and the response header for this page, you can see the server is reporting its version. It's running Apache 2.4.4 run, and it's also telling us the operating system, which is Ubuntu. Let's do the same thing for Nginx, so we'll refresh the page here. Go to the resource for the IP address at the top. And under the response header, we see that we're running Nginx version 1.18.0, and we're also running on Ubuntu uh, operating system. So how do we hide that version, those versions for Apache and uh, Nginx? Well, let's go ahead and log into the server and let me show you. So let's SSH into the IP address ending in 230, which is the Apache server and we'll log into the IP address ending in 35, which is the Nginx server. So let's just do one at a time here. Uh, we'll start with Apache, and the file that we want to modify in here is the, is, well, it's located at etc apache2, and then conf enabled, and something called security, sec, security.conf. Okay, and in here we wanna look for something called server tokens. And uh, down here, you'll see that there are a um, couple different options. It explains what server tokens are um, essentially here, but what we wanna do is change server tokens from OS to prod, okay? And those, those are your options here. Um, prod means production. So in production, you don't wanna expose your, um, your, your, your web server version. And then there's also another option here um, for server signature server signature right now it's one as you can see we want to turn that off so i guess what we can do is comment this line and um, turn the server signature off and this uh, combined this will hide your web server version like we saw in google chrome and also if there is like some type of internal server error you know those pages that you see like 500 internal server error um, sometimes it reports your web server version there too so that it'll hide your web server version no matter what the page is that we're looking at. So let's go ahead and save that. And we can restart the Nginx or the Apache server with um, system CTL restart Apache 2. And that looks good. So let's go ahead and modify our Nginx uh, con file. So we can do that with vim etc Nginx and then this is under, uh, I think it's just nginx.conf here. And what we wanna look in here is also called server tokens. And by default, this line is commented out. Uh, we want to uncomment this to turn on, or I guess we wanna turn server, com we wanna turn server tokens off by uncommenting that line. So uh, make sure you have server tokens off in your HTTP block, and this is, this is uh, server web server wide so all websites running under this web server so we'll save those changes and do something similar to restart the web server with system ctl restart nginx okay so now if we go back to our web browser and refresh the apache page 
if we go back in and look at the response header, we will see that see now that we are um, not reporting our version of Apache here. And same thing for Nginx. Let's refresh the page and look at the IP address here. And under the response header, we see that our Nginx server version is not being reported. So um, that's about it, guys. Just modifying those server tokens for each one of the web servers. That'll do the trick for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Check out some of my other Nginx and Apache videos over here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.